Hello. How are you? I am Renee Boudreau from the Rec Department. I'm the Program Coordinator filling in for Diana, who is in St. Louis this week at the National Recreation Conference. Um, hopefully I can answer any questions you have regarding the couple of budgets we have here. Anybody got any questions for the rec? Um, represents a 1.23 percent increase. <coughs> Virtually nothing. Right. 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 That's basically the, the raises that we did. That's correct. The two percent raises we did last year. So that basically covers that mm -hmm. that part of it. So, any questions for a rec department? Bill. Negative. Thank you very much. Okay. Rick. Yeah. It's uh, this is another. Uh, department that brings money in that gets uh, used for different programs that you're having and it seems to be going very well. There's a lot of good, um, we hear a lot of good stuff out on the streets about your department. Thank you. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know if you're not, you're not Diana, that's for sure. Not you don't look like her either. <laughs> <laughs> it's much better when she's no. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks Jim. <laughs> the the part time wages the that she requested the uh, the increase the adjustment yeah. Can you go into that or would you rather that? Pretty much the rate they're at now. She's looked around at different departments, Exeter and you know the surrounding areas and people with uh, populations similar to what we have, and the way their department for parks is. Um, they have like a foreman per se, and our equivalent of the foreman is pays a little less, and that adjustment is to try to bring him, even though he's only 28 hours, up to that rate that the others are in other towns that may even be at a full-time position. Okay. Thank you. I mean, just one explanation. Yep. Um, I guess there's nothing else right now. I mean, there's no big increase there in the uh, what's going on. Jim? I don't have anything. Thank you very much. Rick? No, I already... Oh, sorry. Phil, you're also awesome. uh, good to go. Thank you, sir. Okay, as far as parks and recs, we are we're good to go there. Uh, are we going parking and now we're going to parking, yeah. I didn't know if you were doing that, but since you're here yep. with a smiling face. It seems like on this one the biggest adjustment is the they up the hourly wages a little bit and then there was a little adjustment in um, supplies and expenses that was added, I believe, by Christy to cover background checks and things of that sort for all the new people coming in. Yeah, I think uh, supplies and expenses, we, we looked at the cost for the drug and alcohol screening and um, drug and alcohol screening plus the finance department makes the placards for all of the vehicles, and we now do them in three different cycles. We started that a couple of years ago. So if you look at that line, you can see that the spending last year was 5292 So I just increased that to line to reflect more accurately what is being spent from that account. Because so, we do drug and alcohol screens even if we bring back someone from a prior year. Um, any seasonal laborers for the town in any of the departments have to be screened again each year. So we just did that to increase it to more actual spending there. Any questions, Regina? No, so sorry, just you might have already said this, but the seasonal wages are just reflecting the increases for the municipal lots. Right. The pays for the municipal lots. Just okay. All right. And uh, Christy, maybe you can answer the the revenue from the from the parking. It's estimated for this year at four hundred and ninety-two thousand and fifty dollars, and I think we've already exceeded, exceeded that, that, haven't we? I believe yep. so. Yeah, yeah. I think we've hit the five hundred mark. I don't have September financials yet, but in August we were at. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. No. Mm. 1928 Ford's paging. Yeah. Mm, parking um, at the end of this was for August was at 522,000. 
847. That's what was taken in. Then we also take out the 20% that goes into the fund. So, but it's netting out at 458,000 already. All right. When you net everything together. So, so, so above what the projected. Yes. And, and do we have more? We have more concerts, Well, September right? they had Labor Day and they had the Seafood Fest, and, and then there's more concerts through, I believe. Five more to go with yeah, there was November, five. I think. Yep. Okay. To get them through the end right. of the year. And what was the total last year? Uh, last year? Phil, do you have the 535 in front of you? I do. And here, I'll you'll get <laughs> I didn't bring it over with me. I don't have last year's. So let's see. Last year, parking lots came in at... I was looking. It didn't jump out at me. Yeah, it's not jumping out at me, though. Yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> it's going to be one of those one that's lumped in with other items, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. um, it was over 500, though. Yeah, it was over 500 for sure. Yeah, I can find out for you. <clears throat> but it's lumped in another category here, so it's not broken down on this. Is it an other? <laughs> it's... it's um, it's like seven. Three, four, zero, nine, three, four. Yeah, other charges came in at four hundred and forty three thousand two sixty. That seems a little low, but it could have been in there. Did you realize that the actual realized revenue last year was probably like a hundred thousand or so less than what was taken in because twenty percent of the revenue from the parking lots goes into a separate fund. So. For Parks and Rec. Yeah. So. I'm just, Even if they take in like 520000 about 100000 or a little bit more than that is going to go into that rec fund. So. I mean, obviously, it's a, it's, a, it's a real revenue producer, real money maker. And, you know, uh, do, do we anticipate, you know, looking into it on more of a streamlining it? Are we, are we making the best use of it? Is it, you know, that kind of thing, and which I would think we would want to do, just to review what's going on and what's gone on, and how we could increase the revenue or what we could do to increase the down there, rather than just letting it go every year the same, same, same. But I mean, you guys do a great job at it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just saying, I think that would be good. Hmm. Maybe that's something that we need to take a look at yeah. as we move forward. Yeah. On, uh, on what the revenues can be or what or yeah. what something may do to be able to enhance that. So, Phil? No, sir. Rick? No, thank you. Very good. The only other thing on here was lifeguards. Yes. Where's that on the... Lifeguards this year... Oh, no, it was in, uh... Lifeguards was moved into other... Safety services, I believe, on, on your tabbies here. If you look at it, so, well, I shouldn't say it's purple because I don't know if it's purple in everyone's clothes, but after emergency management okay. comes other safety, other safety yep. services, other safety. and the lifeguards are there. Fred and I, we can't change account numbers because they're set by DRA, but into this section we moved hydrants, uh, street lights, and lifeguards because those are categories that kind of fell under other departments um, but weren't the departments didn't necessarily have that much control over them and this year we didn't have any lifeguards so we just moved lifeguards over there and it was put in the budget at a little bit less than what was requested last year it's down to 22,160 and this year I know they could not find lifeguards <coughs> once again so Renee how many years has that been that we haven't been able to find them I believe it's two that we haven't been able to yeah. field a crew um, and what happens is we get one or two that walk in the door that want to do it, but you know Thursday through Sunday, two lifeguards isn't going to cover any anything we need. So you know we need six or so to be a adequate crew, and we're just not getting them in the door. And that's not just you. I mean that, that's no, every that's, beach. The whole state's having trouble. State Massachusetts has a terrible time yeah. getting them. Public pools have a ter yeah. terrible time. It's just not a very desirable job anymore. I think the, they're taking the responsibility part of it now because it's, you know, it's so important and it's such yeah. a big risk. And I think people are either choosing to do something different or they really want to see some good pay for what they do. And right. It's a, I mean, it's a that's another spot. area that I think we really should take a good look at. And we have been looking at yeah. parking. We have been looking at lifeguards. We are looking at traffic control too. Yeah. Street lights. Where we're going, you know. Yeah. Yeah. 
very good. Uh, and you guys do a great job. The rec department, you do a Thank great you. job. Super. You're right, the rec department doesn't do a great job, but over the years they've been tasked with lifeguards, they've been tasked with parking, they've yeah. been tasked with this, they've been tasked with that. Um, the rec department does a great job at what they do, and we hope they continue to do that. I just, I hate to see them get bogged down with the other bogged stuff. down with all this other stuff, and I think, uh, um, you know, your, your programming is spot on. I mean, okay. I've gone with Renee on, on trips before. I've done, you know, they just, they're great. The old people, or the seniors, mature I wouldn't people, say, mature, mature people. I wouldn't say the old people, but the seniors in this town love their rec department. Yes, the kids in this town love their rec department because there's so much that you guys offer for them and we really appreciate that so phil i think no no echo your words thank you Rick? no thank you i guess we're all set thank, thank you very thank much. you thank you